Hello, we're going to talk about the care and feeding of the new Root Spa Deepwater Culture Bucket System. First of all, we have a multi-purpose tube which allows us to test the nutrients and to drain the system as well as check the level and we can also feed nutrients through this tube. So let me explain how. First of all, initially, to put the system into operation and to uh, fill it with nutrient solution, whatever is desired for the plant, just remove the net basket and mix a nutrient solution in a separate bucket and just dump it right through the, into the bucket. We want to make the level just below the bottom of this net basket. Once you've established the level and checked the uh, nutrient, you can check the operation of the, of the system by plugging it in the air hose and turning on the air pump. As you can hear, it's starting to make major bubbles right now. It's highly recommended that you place a, just a teeny bit of silicone lubricant or some kind of food grade lubricant around that hole to make it easier to slide in and out. As you can see as you remove it, if you check the level, which of course is right below the bucket. Once your plants are in, or your plant, and you're ready to, to add nutrient, check the level. If it's low, then you can add water either through through the uh, mainly through the uh, rooting medium and then add nutrient through this hole in the multi-purpose tube. You can still add nutrient solution through the grow media, right through the top, like so, through the rocks or whatever you use it for grow medium, or you can add it through this tube, which is very easy, and I'll show you how to do that. So now that we've established the level, we're going to want to check the TDS level of the nutrient solution. And to do that, put the hose in the cup and draw enough sample to be measured. So the sample of this nutrient solution, the TDS is 3, roughly 325, 326. So we'll bump that up to right around between four and five hundred for the growing for the first vegetative growth stage of the plant. So the best way to do this is to leave a little sample in the tube, in the uh, cup, take your favorite nutrient, draw some into the syringe, hold it upside down so you won't lose any, then just place it in the hole and squirt it inside the tube. So we'll repeat the process. Draw another syringe full. Place it in the hole and squirt it in. Now to rinse out the syringe and the tube, we'll go into the sample cup, place it in the hole, and squirt it around through the tube. That cleans the tube and the syringe. So now we're ready for the next uh, next load if we need it. So now we have a tube basically full of nutrient solution. We'll place the hose, the air hose, back into the tube. Then we'll turn on the air pump. 
and watch that nutrient go into the bottom of the tank. It's immediately mixed with the rest of the nutrient solution and we can take another sample within a few minutes. Here's a very healthy cherry tomato plant that's been growing in this root spa for oh about two to three months. Just keeps delivering more and more fruit, lots of blossoms. It doesn't want to give up. And I think it's mainly because there's an abundance of oxygen in the root system. That causes the roots to grow and to grow very healthy and without using as much nutrient. It's an incredible system. Enjoy. Chocolate cherry tomato.